burned a hole in my socks last night trying to get them warm by the fire, so that's how you fix that. Still got a hole there. It'll be okay. Fireworks, but it kept going, and then there was a hell of a Good morning, everybody. We all slept really good last night. There was some sort of military training, I guess, last night at midnight. There's three big booms and then helicopters. I don't know what was going on. I was checking Twitter like, uh-oh, it's a world ending. But we're all still here. We got 10 miles to River Ranch this morning. All we have on our mind are steaks and burgers. And then we gotta walk like three or four more to some road to get picked up and go to Billy Goat Days. So that is planned today. Such a beautiful camp spot. This is a free camping place. Uh, I'm going to be marking in Google Maps, bring my van back here. Oh, also, earliest we've ever left camp, it's gonna be, I got up at six something. My alarm did not go off, but Kitty Hawks makes a protein shake every morning and his stirring woke me up. So I was like, uh-oh. But we will be out of camp by 7 a.m. So, new world record for us. challenging us. Here we are at River Ranch Resort. Florida Trail actually takes you right by River Ranch Resort. This is this cool place that has covered wagons, teepees, and all other types of glamping. The spot is a little on the expensive side, but places like this are always so cool and exciting to come across on the trail. They even have their own little village with a general store that hikers can use for a resupply spot. This weekend, it was fun because they had a car show and swap meet. So we enjoyed walking around, looking at all the cool cars, and talking to a bunch of people about the trail. Of course, we had been looking forward to this place because there was a restaurant there, and we took full advantage of that, getting both breakfast and lunch. On the AT, I developed a Dr. Pepper addiction, but I told myself on this trail, I would only allow myself one a week. So here's my one. I'm gonna enjoy every last sip of it. Mm. Well, if you don't wanna spend all that money at River Ranch, right down the road is this awesome spot under this oak that you could stay for free. Oh, it is so beautiful. We've hiked 14, 15 miles today, something like that. And we've made it to this parking lot where it would be easier for Ari to come pick us up for Billy Goat Days. So we are just swiping on him, hanging out. We made it. 
We're gonna set up our tents. This whole area is for us. Yeah, this is perfect. I'm doing this corner, this right here. We're hiking here, so it's like when the AT is due, I just like show up and like- Good morning, everybody. I am at Billy Go Days. I forget what this park is called, um, but today's the actual day of the event. We got in last night, hung out with some awesome people, met some cool people, and just really just set up our tents and then went to sleep. But today's the actual event. Billy Goat Day is an event celebrating the birthday of this guy right here, Billy Goat. He's hiked over 55,000 miles all over the United States. So every year for his birthday, hikers gather for Billy Goat Days from all around Florida and through hikers on the trail. And everyone brings food and has just a big potluck, can camp out. Everybody just has a good time together, intermingling and talking about hiking and catching up. I met so many incredible people this day, hikers, subscribers, and even Billy Goat himself who turned 84 this day. I am so grateful I got to be a part of this event this year. The Florida Trail Association and the Florida hiking community is so inviting and welcoming to all the hikers and this day just made me fall in love with this trail even more. Good morning everybody. Yesterday was Billy Goat Day and it was an awesome, awesome event. Had a lot of fun, met a lot of really cool people, a lot of cool hikers. I met Billy Goat, talked to him for a while. I'm just really grateful that we had the opportunity to come and be a part of Billy Goat Day. Today I'm still here, I'm in my tent, everybody's up. We are going to be making our way back to the trail today. Ari, uh, the gentleman who picked us up, will be dropping us back off. Probably won't get back to the trail till later today. And I'm just gonna get everything packed up and um, see where the day takes us. We are about to head back to the trail and we are right in the middle of a six mile road walk with the closest camp being 11 miles. And if you see a tripod over there on the ground, he has a very bad migraine, which he gets time to time. I just booked us a room at River Ranch, which is about five miles back from where we are on trail. However, this dude can't hike and he definitely can't hike 11 miles, which is what we need to do to get to the next campsite. So we're gonna stay at River Ranch tonight, get him um, good. Yeah, I'll see you guys there. Everyone say bye to Kitty Hawk. He's going home. He's leaving us. He's got to work. Then he's going to do the CDT. CDT. Summer. So we wish him well. Bye, Kitty Hawk. Huge thanks to Ari. Yes. We, we, we love Ari and Rue. Oh, bye. Rue's awesome. Nice <laughs> so, fail of the century. We got to River Ranch and we went to check in. I'm like, well, we don't have you here talking about here's the confirmation she looks at it she's like what this is this another place I booked a lodge in California off the PCT named the exact same thing as this place and it really threw me off because we're like yeah we're through hikers and they're like oh through hikers like you guys get the discount because apparently it's right off the PCT well did you I'm like, I'm in Florida. She's like, what? So, I'm so sorry, Tripod. Yeah, <laughs> now we, now we're, we're gonna figure it out, but yeah, that's the current situation. So now we're just sitting here and rooms here are $280. Howdy ho everyone. We just rewalked <laughs> two miles of the trail. Well, about two miles of the trail. And we stayed at that really pretty spot that I said, hey, this would be a really pretty spot if you don't want to spend money at River Ranch. That's where we are. But alas, here we are. Um, we've got like two miles to I-60. And then from there, it is a five or six mile road walk right off the interstate. So we're gonna try to get out there early before there's a ton of traffic. Not looking forward to it, it's pretty dangerous. But after that, we get to like three lakes and Forever Florida and some really pretty stuff. So looking forward to that. We're gonna try to get up and out tomorrow early in the morning. And 
yeah, it's a beautiful night. I pitched my tent perfectly tonight on this perfectly flat ground. So we're both pretty happy. We're saving some money and uh, getting to camp. And that's always awesome. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Thank you.